Good morning, everyone. Week of July 6th, 2021 on basic fire prevention. <clears throat> With using gas cans, etc., different types of things, uh, experiencing some fires, I thought perfect timing to keep everyone abreast, including it's stuff we use at home. We fill our cars. So anyway, basic fire prevention. Number one, fire results come from combining the following. Fuel, oxygen, and heat. Fuel, paper, wood, flammable substances, such as gasoline. Oxygen, a gas present in the air. Heat or igni ignition source. Flame, electricity, friction, spark, chemical reaction. To prevent fires, keep fuel and oxygen and heat from coming together. OSHA requires employers to have a fire prevention plan. What's ours? Two, practice good housekeeping to keep fuels away from heat. Dispose of waste promptly and properly. Keep work areas free and clear of dust and lint. Keep combustible materials away from lights as well as machinery. Identify and take precautions with flammable substances. Flammable vapors can spread and catch fire quickly. Check labels and material safety data sheets, now known as SDS safety data sheets that identify flammable substances. Check the handling and storage precautions. Clean up flammable spills and leaks immediately. Remove clothing that has absorbed flammable liquids immediately. Substitute non-flammable liquids in approved airtight metal containers that are closed when they're not in use. Ground containers during liquid transfer so you don't create what's known as static electricity. Use flammable liquids only in well-ventilated areas away from heat, fire, etc. Do not place near heat or cut a container that previously contained a flammable liquid unless it's been tested and approved for such use. Handle oxygen cylinders carefully. Don't handle with oily hands and gloves or store near combustible materials. Use and maintain electrical equipment properly. Replace cords and wires when they are frayed or worn insulation. Don't overload circuits, motors, fuses, and outlets. And make sure you have good ground connections. Don't run heated equipment or machinery overnight uh, and left unattended. Keep bearings lubricated so they don't run too hot. Keep machines and motors clear and dust and of grease as well. Avoid exposing fuels to heat sources. Smoke only in permitted areas. Smoke only in permitted areas. Put out cigarettes and matches carefully and correctly. Use space heaters only when necessary and in well-ventilated areas. Prevent fires that result from chemical reactions. Read the labels and safety data sheets, known as material safety data sheets, so you don't use or store incompatible substances together. In case of fire, keep routes clear of firefighting and fire evacuation. Don't block exits, uh, fire alarms, aisles, and sprinklers. And ask for examples of potential fire hazards in your work areas. And in conclusion this week, make fire prevention part of your job and everyone's job. Workplaces present many opportunities for fuel, oxygen, and heat, and ignition sources to come together and cause a fire. Your hazard awareness and the pre proper precautions can prevent it. Have a great and safe week and make good choices. Take care till next week.